Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with McFit Method and this is your workout of the day. Now before we get started into this workout, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I try to post new videos every single day and I don't want you to miss any of those. Also down in the description, I've linked up a couple of my uh, 21 day fat loss and muscle building challenges. So go ahead and click on those if you wanna join those as well. All right guys, let's jump into today's workout of the day. Today's workout is gonna be four rounds for time and we're gonna start off with this jump rope. Uh, I incorporate the jump rope into the majority of all my workouts, the combination of the fat burning potential with the jump rope, with those strength training exercises, really has been proven to create great uh, platform for you to build muscle and burn body fat at the exact same time. So it's gonna start off today, we're gonna do four rounds. Like I said, we're gonna start off with that jump rope. We're gonna do 100 jump rope rotations with this jump rope. So I'm gonna step back here, we wanna get in proper form here, which means keeping those feet together, we're jumping on the balls of our feet, chest up, shoulders back. And when you start to initiate the first jump or rotation of that jump rope, you want to keep, keep your elbows in close to your sides and we're rotating that rope just with our wrists. We don't want a lot of movement at the elbow joint or at the shoulder joint and hands should be slightly in front of your hips. Now when you're jumping up and down, it's a bounding motion. So you're just kind of jumping up and down on the balls of your feet, keeping that chest up the entire time. You notice I'm not bringing my knees up, I'm not kicking them back, I'm not piking my feet forward. So you initiate the first swing of that jump rope. And once again, keeping those elbows in close to your sides, jumping on the balls of my feet. I'm just jumping high enough off the ground to clear that rope, chest up, shoulders back, rotating that rope just with that wrists. So you're gonna do 100 rotations of that jump rope. If you want to intensify this workout a little bit more, you could do what's called double unders, which is gonna be two rotations of that jump rope for every jump. So twice under the feet if you want to intensify that. If you're unable to do that, what you can do is intensify it a little bit more by just doing a run in place movement. This will allow you to then generate even more speed on that jump rope. So either way, what you're just gonna do is 100 rotations of that jump rope. Then we're gonna move into the strength component, the first strength component, and it's going to be 12 overhead dumbbell lunges on the right side. So I'm gonna set my jump rope back here and I'm gonna get a single dumbbell. And like I said, we're gonna do 12 overhead lunges on the right side. So I'm gonna set the dumbbell down and we're gonna go into a lunge. We're gonna lunge forward with the right leg with our right hand up overhead. So first off, I'm gonna get this dumbbell up in an overhead position, lock that out overhead. Should be nice stacked. Your wrist, elbow, shoulder shall be in line. Keep that bicep really close to your ear. And we're gonna lunge forward with our right leg. So you're gonna lunge all the way out, keeping that dumbbell up overhead. Full extension here into that lunge and then all the way back up. You're gonna do 12 on this right side. Once you've done 12 on that right side, now we're gonna jump back into that jump rope component. But before that, I wanna point out a couple different things here. So when you are lunging out, make sure you're lunging far enough out, you're not short stepping it. So you wanna make sure that when you get into this lunge position, that you have a nice 90 degree angle here on this front leg. If you end up short stepping it, what's gonna happen is when you go into that lunge, your knee is gonna go way out over the top of your toe and your heel is gonna come off the ground. So you wanna make sure you are stepping far enough out on that. Now also, when you have this dumbbell in this overhead position, like I said, make it a nice stacked position. Elbow, wrist, shoulder should all be in a line. And when you go into that lunge, make sure you're keeping your chest up and not leaning forward. That dumbbell's gonna wanna kinda pull you down. So make sure you're keeping that chest up and that shoulder blade engaged, keeping that dumbbell all the way up. So you're gonna go ahead and do 12 with the dumbbell in your right hand and lunging forward with that right leg. Once you've completed that, then you're gonna go ahead and pick up that jump rope again. We're gonna do another 100 rotations of that jump rope. Now we're gonna go back to the dumbbell again. We're gonna do the same thing, overhead lunges, but now we're working the left side. So you're gonna bring that dumbbell up in the left hand, lock it out overhead, lunge forward with the left leg, then all the way back up, lunge forward with the left leg. You're gonna do another 12 of these Make sure you're stepping out far enough on that left side. Once you've completed 12 of those, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that jump rope again, another 100 rotations of that jump rope, and then we're gonna move into the final movement today, strength movement, which is gonna be 12 alternating dumbbell clean and press. So this is single arm. So we're gonna start off here, we have the dumbbell down on the ground. We're gonna get in a nice squat stance. Feet should be a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes pointed out slightly. 
And you're gonna keep that chest up, you're gonna go down, you're gonna grab this dumbbell, you're gonna bring it up into a clean position, and then we're gonna press it up overhead, then we're gonna bring it back down, down to the ground, switch arms, then clean it up into this position, press it all the way up and all the way down. We're gonna do 12 on each arm for this. So it's 12 alternating, but 12 each arm, so a total of actually 24 of these. So what we're gonna do is get into this nice squat stance. You're gonna send those hips back, or uh, hinge at the hips, start to send that butt back, go into that squat position, keeping those, uh, that chest up the entire time. Knees are tracking out over the toes. We don't want our knees caving in. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna grab this dumbbell and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the power and the strength of our lower body to bring that dumbbell up, gain some momentum here. And you're gonna clean that dumbbell. We're gonna actually get up on our toes, full extension here, clean that dumbbell up into the front rack position. From here, depending on the weight of the dumbbell, you can either just do a strict shoulder press at that point, or if it's a heavier dumbbell, you can do a little bit of a push press where you go into a slight squat again and then use the power of your lower body then to press it up overhead. I have a lighter dumbbell here today, so I'm just gonna do a strict press in that uh, shoulder press position. So I'm gonna get down here on the ground, send those hips back here, knees are tracking out of those toes, chest is up, bring that dumbbell up into that front clean position. From here, now I'm then just going to press it all the way up, strict press, to a full extension at the top, everything is locked out at the top. Then I'm gonna bring this back down, back down to the ground. Now I'm going to switch over to the left. So I'm going to clean that up into the front rack position and then I'm going to strict press it all the way up. Then back down to the other side, switch to the right, clean it up and then press it all the way up. Then back down, left hand one more side here, clean it, press it all the way up and then all the way down. Like I said, we're going to do 24 total of those. So 12 on each arm alternating back and forth between the right and the left. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up resting for one minute, and that completes one round of this workout. And like I said, we're gonna do a total of four rounds of this workout today. So that is the McFit Method workout of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below how you like this workout, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow in the McFit Method gym.